Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling, guys. So today, I have a unboxing. And I'm sad to say that I have to return them. So, a pair of boots. Fall is coming. And we need to start purchasing our boots and stuff for the fall if you don't already have your essential pieces. Now... I don't know about you guys, but I don't know if it's because I drive more than I'm walking as opposed to when I was in New York, but your girl's feet are feel like they're spreading a little bit. <laughs> like I feel like shoes that I already have are feeling different on my feet. And the boots that I purchased from Stodd, let me show you. <laughs> that I got from Stodd. <laughs> I already have them in red and in like a brownish camel color and they're fine for whatever reason I don't know what's going on with my feet but it's driving me insane also I'm sending them back because I see something that I actually do not like on the shoe and I'll show you guys that in just a second let me just put it down here so you guys can see I'll give you guys a nice little close-up of the shoe and what my issue is with the shoe. And let me get into why I got them. The color. The color is so pretty, guys. Look at this. It's like amazing. Oh, and you can't, it's like, it's more of a cream I guess you could say it's not really coming up on camera but it's more of a cream and I'll show you what my issue is with the shoe um is it on both sides I see it on this side so let, let, let me get into the specs before I show you what the defect is of the shoe of the boot these are 42 um I will say that these run small they are very narrow on the bottom can you guys see super narrow here right um also i just i don't know for whatever reason these are not made well i'm now i'm noticing more stuff <laughs> that i'm moving the shoe around the boot around but i'm noticing some things that just don't look good on the boot and I have two pairs. So in my review, sending it back, I'm telling them exactly what I saw, what I see that I don't like. Um, so I'll get into the first thing, which was, <laughs> I don't even know if you guys can see. I'm going to step into the camera uh, right about here. I don't know if you guys can see that gapping right there. That shouldn't be like that on a boot. Like, this should be flush against the shoe the same way the rest of this is. Like, this is this is not good. And it actually doesn't feel, I don't know, it's just, it's just not, it's not together. So that's going back. And then I'm looking at it. The front doesn't look like it's made really well either. You can't even really see because the shoe is so bright. Um, now that I'm moving the boot around, I also see the heel is not made really well. There is some slight, I don't know, it's just not made well. The other two boots are not like this, and I typically like stawed boots, like, a lot. Um, I wish they would just make these a little bit wider. In this area, it's just they're just like really narrow, but they're not made well. And the reason why I hopped on them so fast was because I have them already. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, they fit fine. I like them. I like the quality. But these actually feel cheaper than the red ones. Yeah. I don't know. It's just something about this leather that I'm not feeling. 
something about how they're made they're just not made well this piece over here is really killing it's literally like a gap I don't know can you I know oh right here I'm gonna see if I can put an arrow or something right here <laughs> it's weird guys so I don't know but nonetheless I really really like the bow <laughs> but I'm gonna try to find another pair that I just like better um I just don't think they did a good job with these this time around the red pair fabulous okay but it's something about these that I just can't the heel this little piece down here is like it's just not made honestly there's a nine west pair of boots out there that's way cheaper that probably are made this probably better but I don't know can you guys see this here that's messed up it just doesn't it's just not made well I'm looking at every single thing on the boot now yeah I got them yesterday even the front doesn't look I don't know it's just something that's just not I don't know and then this over here is, is where the gapping is like that's not good yeah so these are going back but I wanted to come on here and do a quick review so the name of the boots are the cami let me make sure they have the same exact name as the red ones yep <laughs> the cami boots in cream and I got a size 42 but they're just not made well this time and you know how much these suckers cost these are almost six hundred dollars guys so with with tax it's about 583 and to pay that much for a shoe they need to be made very very well and I'm doing a better job at returning things that I see that I don't like um, something wrong with the item because before I would just say oh whatever whatever and just keep it no um, same thing with the restoration hardware table and stuff like I was not doing that that table was expensive but then they ended up giving me so much money back that I just kept the little one with the little issue <laughs> um, but it's ridiculous like this is not made well they're gonna have to take this boot and return it to the warehouse or whatever get somebody to go back in and look at it because here's the thing that part that has that little opening in my head if it was raining outside okay so if it was raining outside right and you so happen to have to run from your car and run inside somewhere I'm thinking water can get in there that's it's a space so that's not a good look like it's not a good look guys I would not recommend it not keeping something that is not intact like it should be so no no bueno um they do only ship it in a big box and then that's in the box it's no real cushion in there um i wish these designers and these shippers or whoever do a better job at packaging the stuff because when the box came the box was there almost like really messed up and you guys know fedex will tear your stuff up so it looked like it was probably it fell open or something I don't know but this is these are going back um, so I am on a hunt <laughs> for another pair of cream or ivory boots in a size typically an 11 but depending on the brand I'm probably gonna have to size up maybe even a half size to an 11 and a half I don't know but um those are the cami boots <sighs> guys listen as a tall woman woman with really wide feet I don't even want to say really wide but some wide feet I wear size I'm gonna say an 11 most brands I'm fine with the smallest shoe that I feel like ran small well I'm gonna say the only designer that I felt like that ran small was Alexander Berman right and Alexander Berman to me 
just ran I don't even want to say narrow those boots the tip of the boot is kind of narrow right and it's kind of short so all the other stuff here is fine even Jennifer Lee Jennifer Lee's her stuff was good as well she has um what's the word she has she goes up to a size 12 the 12 was big but I was fine with that um, but at least she goes up to, I actually think she goes up to a 43 to be quite honest, which is really smart of her because she's catering to everyone. But Stodd, I'm a little disappointed in these boots, okay? I'm going to pull them out again for you guys. I'm a little disappointed in them because I already have them and they were made a lot better. And I didn't even, let me check the other boots. Oh. <laughs> I'm dropping stuff guys so let's check this boot this one looks better yeah this one is it's made fine I do see something down here yeah and if you can tell it's close together here not like that other boot it's close there's no spacing here unlike this one <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> unlike this one there's just like a space there. I don't know what that is about, man. I'm gonna come a little closer. You guys can see it right there. Yeah. So these are going back. I just put a note in there so they'll know exactly why they're coming back, you know? And I wasn't mean about it. I just said I already have two pair and these weren't made as well as I was expecting them to be made. And hopefully they'll just take a look at the boot and get them situated. Um, but yeah, so that is it. I just wanted to come and show you guys a quick uh, review of the Starred Cami Boots in Cream. This is their newest color. They currently, I currently have the red and the brown suede ones. And they have a black pair and they also have I think they have black or oh, they got green suede which is not really nice in person and then they have like a maroon color and also in person those are not really as deep as the color should be when I went to LA I actually saw them in person um, but yeah so that's it guys um, quick little review today nothing too long I just wanted to show you guys before I actually send them back in case someone is looking to purchase these boots um, if you have narrow feet, you will be okay. If you have super wide feet, you will not be okay. Um, if you have regular wide feet, maybe average foot, you can just get, I'm still going to say size up because they, they run small. Um, and they have multiple colors. So I have the red and the brown suede. I love them a lot. Uh, these, not so much. They're just not made really well. But I am still looking for a boot that has this color. And let's get into the headband. The headband is from a company called Arliss, A-R-R-L-Y-E-S. She is a black owned headband maker on Instagram. I'll try to tag her somewhere, but I absolutely love it. I actually bought two of them. I'll show you guys in another video, but super cute. It comes around. I'm gonna get more because it's like a quick throw on and you know, simple, cute, all that right <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning in today and if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel i got some goodies coming i am gonna get this channel together i always say that but sometimes i overthink things and i stop what i'm about to do but um 
Follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY, NY and my style blog, Coco Styles NYC.com and my personal style services, Coco Styles NY.com. And I'm on tickety tickety talk, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.